Welcome all you Aries to your weekly energy update and we are going to be looking at the week of May 22nd through May 29th. However, these are of course timeless. So if you are coming across this video outside of that time frame, I would still trust your intuition and watch the video because I'm sure there are messages for you. Um, no big, huge lunar or like moon planetary things that I want to mention for this week. Um, I do have the June monthlies for each zodiac sign coming out this week. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on those when they come out, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get notified immediately when those do uh, come out and are released. But for this week, we're going to be really going into the wild unknown by looking into these wild unknown. Uh, these are the um, archetype cards. And we're going to start off by pulling one of these just to see the general energies for the week on what the creator wants you to be aware of. So for our Aries, what do you want them to know about this week? All right. So your card came flying out and you have the tear. So this is the kind of the focal point of your week um, it has to do with the the pain, the I want to say the suffering piece, the the pain that you have felt, the prick that you've had in your heart and that you've been carrying. And this energy is being brought up, you know, into your face in a way. Um, and we're going to see also here through the wild unknown. And this is the spirit. Um, animal or the animal spirit deck. And we're going to see what spirit animal will help you around this energy this week. And let's see what kind of animal spirit energy can assist you. So we're going to, for our Aries, what would you like them to know? Okay, so it is going to be this one. They did tell me they want me to read from the book on this, the tear. So we will obey and see that is going to be okay. Number 52. There we go. So this is the morning, like M O U R N I N G, the release, the rain. Tears are droplets of letting go. Once they begin to fall, we allow the swelling tide of emotion to run its elemental course. Often the tear is what is needed in order for a conversation or a situation to break into the next level of intimacy and vulnerability. Some say that tears are so powerful in softening our egos that they open up a portal to the unseen world. Through our watery eyes, the ancestors catch a glimpse of us, and we are reminded of their embrace. We sense our humanity, our humility, and we allow ourselves to be held. It is likely this card appears when there's grieving yet to do, a sinking down into disappointment or despair that once acknowledged will bring a shimmer of clarity to our dewy eyes. So I love that. And then the animal energy here is the zebra. And we will also read this one real quick and see what energy that the zebra brings you there. I apologize, there it is. So this is the eccentric, the creative, the visionary. This is like a kind of red that reminds me of Aquarian energy in a way, which is the star card in the regular tarot in the major arcana, which is about hope and bringing hope. This kind of like this hopeless feeling that you have, the zebra is bringing in this, uh, it's just kind of quirkiness, right? You know, the zebra looks so different that when a child first sees it, they're like, what is that? You know, it really grabs your attention. Uh, zebras are the most precious of gems. They're young at heart, well cultured, and have an undying curiosity about life. Being in the company of a zebra personality not only is a delight, but also opens our minds. Be prepared, their potent magic is contagious, and you may soon find yourself in a faraway land, expanding your world view while having a blast. 
Zebras also like to contribute to the global health through environmental or volunteer work. So this card may be a hint to pack your bags. So I, I kind of like that. Also, it's a time of movement. Um, and like it mentioned here, when it's like the tear, the allowing, uh, that vulnerability you've been fighting and staying strong for so long it's now time just to let the tears flow let it release and that lets you move into this this new uh kind of energy this new uh, transformation so you are like um it's like the um alchemist you're switching and changing you know uh, something into gold and so there is this beautiful transformation that happens with that because when this energy is in balance you're worldly you're enth enthusiastic you're fashion forward when you're out of balance then you feel jaded pouty and in vain so to bring this into balance it's an epic adventure or uh, do some sort of art like express yourself creatively uh, creativity creatively so yeah this is definitely about getting uh, how you can move beyond this energy and transform it. it is about this movement like getting away from it all um or expressing this this pain this uh you know like i said the mourning that you have this thing that you want to just you've been holding in for so long and now it's time to let it out we're also going to look into the Wild Unknown Tarot for clarification on here. So let me just give these a little shuffle here. Okay, so for our Aries, okay, <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. So it's going to be, well, they just want me to put them upright since we see those. And you have the Son and the Father of Cups. So this is perfect. Let me just move these up here a little bit so you can see them a little better. And we will go into each of these. And this is the messages from the Creator or Spirit. But we're also going to pull from the Dark Tarot. And this represents what your shadow wants you to know. And your shadow is like your tour guide on in through this amusement park of fear through this adventure in this human life so they've got all that uh, behind the scenes knowledge and they understand what's going on below the surface so this is just what they want you to know here okay okay they actually went to two and two so we will do it like this or maybe we'll do it like this. Let me just make sure all this is in picture here. So you got like this bright sun going on. Okay, I just want to move them up here. And we'll get clarity. So they want to start with this one here, which is the Five of Pentacles. And look at this the sad uh, little rose here the sad flower that does feel exactly like this tear and and i love it because they even talked about tears are rain and the five of pentacles is this transformation usually you'll see like someone that's walking there's like these two people that are walking out in the snow barefoot and they're wounded and they just feel basically abandoned they feel like um, the people in the external world have left them just homeless and loveless and hopeless right and the usually there'll be like a stained glass window with the five pentacles in it which fives are all about a transformation like we were talking about here this movement of energy and it moves from looking to the outside world to the humans for our sustenance and the transformation the point of view that changes as we start to understand and connect to that stained glass window because that represents the creator the universe you know it's like um this knowledge that everything that we need is provided to us from the creator it's like 
ordering something from Amazon. They're the ones that are sending it to you, but the delivery driver or the shipping company, whatever it might be, that's the humans they're bringing it to us. So sometimes, sometimes we'll get it even without, not even coming through human hands. You know, we'll have things come to us through other ways. But this transformation that happens is this, uh, it's kind of like this morning that you are discovering that the things that you have been wanting in your life, you're realizing that a human can't give it to you, that it's the creator. It's You're going to be finding this from the inside. And this is so perfect, too, because you have the sun, which is like the most of course bright here this is the the most uh, successful it shines the light on everything so that's like this storm passes and the sun comes out and it is what brings this hope brings this i mean that can be like the star card i was talking about too right this you know beautiful hope and this brightness that comes and gives the flower what it needs and so this is this transformation that happens it goes from the tears here to this abundance because then you have also the father of cups and cups are our emotions father is like the king of cups and the king of cups brings this holy grail the chalice which is the highest emotion that you can experience that is the unconditional love essence of the creation of all things that's what fills up the cup that is like this ultimate so you know where this is what you're feeling and what you're going through and it's important to feel that feeling of abandonment because in feeling the darkness feeling the rain feeling the tears and all of this when you feel the sun and you get to experience this unconditional love where just a drop of this sweet nectar from the cup tastes so much better than everything you've ever received you know from the human world um, it is this transformative experience it is this transformative love and let's take a look here so this is like what's going on underneath the surface in your subconscious your unconscious behind the scenes why is this happening why is this coming to you here and you've got the king of wands so the wands is the fire element it's your drive ambition your passion your inspiration your energy and it can be your spiritual energy too so with it being the king of wands like you have the the father of cups the king of cups here the king of wands represents your higher self so this is you getting to know i mean this will like be your higher self from the inside it's this beautiful energy and that's how you connect to that love is getting to know the real you that is underneath this character because this is the actor behind the character that you're playing here and that of course is a powerful supernatural eternal spirit being that's made of unconditional love so that is why this is happening and you have the queen of swords <laughs> it's a lot of royalty here and the swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. It's all the mentalness that's going on. And the Queen of Swords is beautiful because what she brings in, of course, she has the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords allows you to connect to the capital T truce of the higher realm. And that also allows you to cut away the small t truths of the human side that no longer serve you. So the stuff that's bringing you pain, this kind of reminds me of the Three of Swords, which is like the expectations card, where you feel the prick in your heart. It usually has like this huge heart with three swords, you know, stuck in it. And when we are disappointed in the outside world, when those things that are supposed to make us feel whole and complete, like relationships or situations like jobs and education and social status, or, you know, things like our bodies, our bank accounts, our possessions, those things we're taught and told are supposed to make us feel whole and complete, but they're all unstable and they eventually disappoint us because people change or pass away. Situations never stay the same and things break down, deteriorate or are stolen. And so this Ace of Swords allows you to cut away those beliefs that we are supposed to, you know, be fulfilled by the outside world and we find it from within instead. 
all the queens, in addition to carrying this mental energy, they also all carry water energy. And that allows you to connect to your heart, right? To this cup's energy. And so she represents this underlying thing of this balancing out of heart and mind as this unfolds, which makes total sense with everything we've been talking about here. And then you have the King of Cups again. So King of Cups and King of Cups. So definitely right next to each other too. Just can't make that up. So this is definitely this beautiful energy. You know, it's connecting to this higher love is what this draw is, is what this mission is of these experiences. This disappointment, this vulnerability, as you let that emotion flow, it allows you to open up to the, the deeper love that you've been looking for. And lastly, you have the Six of Cups. <laughs> and this is a, a great card to have, especially with that happening in your subconscious and why these things are unfolding. The Six of Cups is about movement, which we already knew about this when we were talking about the, the tears here. There's this movement of emotion that's happening. It's kind of called the Nostalgia card because it's about looking back on your past memories. And the wonderful message that comes with the Six of Cups is that every moment is either of the unconditional love or the fear of losing conditional love. And when you go back and look at a memory, you can say, okay, was that memory full of unconditional love? And if it's not this joyous, you know, memory full of unconditional love, then it was of the fear of losing conditional love. And when we look into the fear, what happens to our human side when it's in fear, its brain uh, is actually drained of a lot of blood as it you know, as this prick happens, you know, we're talking about the pricking of the heart, that's when we're going into fear. And when it strikes and goes into fear, then um, so many things happen to our bodies. You can just look up fight or flight on the internet and it'll tell you about the, you know, all the blood rushes to our muscles. So it rushes from our brain, our digestive system shuts down, our immune system shuts down because it wants to be able to fight or to run. Well, when the blood relieves our brain, we go into reactive mode, not response mode. So we're not making the most wise decisions or emotionally mature decisions. We're not thinking of a lot of others. It's like when someone yells fire in a theater and everyone just crawls over each other trying to get out. They're not being considerate. They're not thinking about everyone else. It, they just go into an animalistic mode to try to save themselves because the little child in us feels unsafe, feels out of control. So it does reactively uh, to do whatever it needs to feel safe again and to feel in control. So when you go back and look at those situations, you realize, wait a minute, so this situation, we were literally acting out of our minds, right? Reacting out of our minds. That person was not even thinking about me. I was not even thinking about them. We were just reacting. And so we start to look at the situation differently, that it wasn't too emotionally mature, adults that were responding to a situation. It was two little inner children that were reacting, just trying to feel safe again. And so as you look at that situation, you look back at these memories, I really feel like these are the tears that need to be shed for those situations, allowing it to flow, allowing the release of those emotions, that transformation of your worth. Because as you look back at these memories, you start to think about the memory differently. You start to think about that other person differently, but more impactfully for you, you start looking at yourself differently. And this release really helps you move into this newer, brighter place. So I'm loving this transformation of this energy coming up for you this week, Aries. Um, definitely, it's about trusting and allowing the emotions to flow. You don't have to act on the emotions, but it's, a, it's like the journey reflecting back into here. And it's totally worth it because this is what you end up with. Bright, bright, brightness. <laughs> 
All right. Well, I don't have anything else to add to that, Aries. If you are looking for more messages of love from above, like I mentioned, I do put out uh, monthly readings for each zodiac sign. Um, of course, May is already out. If you haven't checked those out already, but June's will be coming out this week. And I also put out a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up, click the like button, also click the subscribe button, and that gives you access to this notification bell. And if you go in there, you can select the all option and then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel. Also doing those things help spread the love and it helps the video reach the people, other people that need to see the video as well and the messages within it. So if you feel so inspired to either like the video, share the video, comment on the video, or especially subscribe to the channel, um, then of course I definitely greatly appreciate that. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information for your specific life, then I do offer personal readings, and all that information is listed in the description box below. All right, you beautiful Aries, as you go through this exciting week, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things, and of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. But in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.